Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Today probably represents uh, one of the most fulfilling days that I have spent as a legislative leader. And uh, it's fulfilling because today demonstrates how our state government should work. The governor, the legislative leadership, and the executive branch staff, along with the legislative staff, coming to a table, tackling incredible odds to get something done. And that is what has been achieved. Uh, I think that it bodes well for governmental leaders at every level in our state to now be armed with a tool to constrain the growth and the cost of government at the local level. And as the governor referenced, this is just an additional building block in terms of what has occurred for the entire legislative year. Senator Sweeney and I have made a commitment to the governor that we will move on to other elements of the reform agenda, and it is our hope that we are able to accomplish comparable ends just as we have with interest arbitration. Uh, I would like to recognize and acknowledge uh, the support that I had in being able to sit down, vet these issues, provide my point of view, and listen to others' points of views. And it is significant for me to acknowledge the help that I received from the PBA, from the FOP, from PFA, and FMBA, who had a willingness to come to the table and acknowledge that things had to change. So I thank you for that. I would like to also thank Bill Caruso, my hardworking executive director, Andrew Hendry, the hardworking executive director of the Senate, and Governor, someone who I am coming to love very much, your counsel, Jeff, uh, Kevin O'Dowd. Thank you very much. You. The governor says this has been a journey. It's been one hell of a journey, <laughs> I gotta tell you. You know, and I want to thank the governor and the speaker for the compromise and the hard work with our colleagues in, the, in our Senator Kane and uh, Assemblyman to Croach, because this is compromise, but it's also revolutionary. We have taken a process from the 1900s, I think, and that we put it into the future. And we knew what the problems were, but the solution wasn't going to be easy to get to. And everyone said, well, why did you do the tax cap first? And the governor and I and the speaker back then said, in order to get this done, we had to put the pressure on ourselves by putting the cap on first. We would never be here today. We would not be talking about this reform if we had not put the pressure of putting a cap on us to deliver this. So uh, this has been one hell of a journey, I gotta admit, Governor. And at this point, you said pretty much most of it. There's, there's been an enormous amount of compromise to come to something that when you think of what it was, the endless years of arbitration, the endless years. I mean, there's five years, six years arbitrations going on. 45 days. And the thing that I actually really like is the fact that we're not gonna let arbitrators just make fortunes off of governments that we're gonna cap that time frame. We're capturing that, realize, that was a business. You know, the more meetings you have, I think the term is called churning, when they churn, you know, some of the legal worlds. It's not gonna happen now. Decisions are gonna to have to be made because there's financial ramifications of it not happening. So again, for the, for the hard work that we all have put into this, Governor, thank you, and the Speaker, and, and Senator Kane, and Assemblyman DeCroach. I think we did something, honestly, very historic. And as I said, we revolutionized arbitration in the state of New Jersey. Thank you.